Bonjour! In this video, I'm going to talk about how to form passé composé and imparfait, that is past tense in French. L'imparfait is past continuous tense and it's used to describe incomplete actions. It's especially used with verbs like être and avoir. While passé composé, on the other hand, it's simpler to know when to use. It simply describes a completed action and it's essentially used to form past tense whenever am parfait isn't used. How to form l'am parfait? So, to form am parfait, we have to take the verbs new form and then remove the ons ending from the new form. For example, let's take the verb aimer, which is to like. Nous, uh, with nous, it's nous aimons, and so we'll take the stem, which is a i m, and remove the o n s ending. So once we remove o n s, we get a m, which is the stem. So we'll simply add the endings. With je, it's a, j'aime, tu aimes, il ou elle ou on, on aime, nous aimions, vous aimiez, il ou elle aime. Probably you can pause the video or go back and repeat after me. Examples of imparfait. So we'll see how to form imparfait. First one is aller. So with aller, the new form is nous allons. And in this case, the stem is a double l after removing the o n s ending. And then we'll simply add the endings of am parfait as seen in previous slide. J'allais, tu allais, il ou elle allait, nous allions, vous alliez, il ou elle allait. So if we can see the endings a i s a i s for je and tu, then for il ou elle it's a i t, for nous allions i o n s. I E Z A I E N T, and the next example is manger. With manger, the new form for in the present tense is nous mangeons, which is E O N S. And after removing the O N S ending, we get the stem as mange N A N G E, and then we again simply add the imperfect uh, endings. Je mangeais, tu mangeais, il ou elle mangeait, nous mangions. Vous mangez, il ou elle mange. With écrire, again the uh, new form is écrivant, so the stem is écrive after removing o n s. Then it will be j'écrivais, tu écrivais, il ou elle écrivait, nous écrivions, vous écriviez, il ou elle écrivait. Les exemples de l'imparfait. The first example is Robespierre était la tête de la régime de terreur. Robespierre was the head of the reign of terror. We use imparfait here since the reign of terror lasted for a year. If it had been that it, la it, was, it happened on a particular date, then we would have used passé composé. The next one is Il neigeait beaucoup hier soir. It snowed a lot last night, so a simple way to remember when to use imperfect in this case is for weather and for age. We usually use imperfect. Il neige beaucoup hier soir, so it snowed a lot last night. It was a continuous action. It was snowing, so we use imperfect. Quand elle avait huit ans, elle visitait sa grand-mère tous les weekends. When she was eight years old, she visited her grandmother every weekend. So we are using am parfait here because she visited, it's a continuous action for a whole year when she was eight, she was visiting. If it had been that she visited her grandmother on a particular date or for example last Monday or last weekend, then we would have used. So to form the negation of am parfait, it's very simple. It's the same as we used to do for present tense negation which is just put ne and pa before and after the verb. For example, if you had to say uh, it didn't snow a lot last night instead of it snowed a lot last night, we will say il ne neige pas beaucoup hier soir, 
So no en pa before and after the verb. That's it. Il ne neige pas beaucoup hier soir. Another example. Elle n'avait pas les cheveux bouclés. She didn't have curly hair. So negation. No before the verb and pa after the verb. Um, again, just for recollection. Since ave starts with a vowel, we are putting n an apostrophe and not the whole verb. Uh, whole word any. No. Vous ne portiez pas une robe rouge. You didn't wear a red dress. So again, uh, no and pa before. How to form passé composé? So passé composé has two parts. First part is the present tense of avoir or être plus past participle. When to use avoir or être, I'll get to it in a while. So just to recollect, the present tense of avoir is je, tu as, il ou elle ou on a, nous avons, vous avez, il ou elle on, je suis, tu es, il est, nous sommes, vous êtes, elles sont. And then, after this, we add the uh, participe passé, which is the past participle. And for different uh, verb endings, we have different past participles. For example, for regular verb endings, we have um, E. Uh, we, uh, we have to remove the R and add an accent to the E. So, for example, the past participle for manger, it will be manger. We simply remove the ER ending and uh, and for the put an e and put an accent on the e joue is j again we simply remove the r and put an accent on e for regular verbs ending in re we have to remove the re and replace it with u for example for attendre attendre will be attendu and entendre will be entendu like we removed the re over here and added Q. And for regular verbs ending in IR, it will be um, remove the R. That's it. For example, for finir, we simply remove the R and it's fini. For choisir, we simply remove the R and it's choisi. And then for irregular verbs, there are always some exceptions in French. You'll have to remo remember all these irregular verb uh, past participles. With, with the most common ones are être, avoir, faire. With être, is it's été. With avoir, it's eu. And faire, it's fait. So as I was saying, when to use être, when to use avoir. So most of the verbs are conjugated with avoir. But there are some exceptions in French as usual. So with être, there's a simple way to remember it, which is Dr. Mrs. Van der Tramp verbs, um, which which is just a, with the initials you can remember it. With D is devenir, ar revenir, monter, retourner, sortir, venir, aller, naître, descendre, entrer, rentrer. Tombe, reste, arrive, mourir, parte. So as you can see, with these initials, we form different verbs, and these are the only verbs which are conjug conjugated with être. But there's another verb which is conjugated with être, which is passé. So passé is also conjugated with être. Rest all other words, verbs are conjugated with avoir. Les exemples de passé composé. Here we'll see some examples for the conjugation. So the first verb is aller. Aller is part of Dr. Mrs. Van der Tramp verbs, as we've seen in the previous slide. And so the conjugation is je suis allé, tu es allé, il ou elle est allé, nous sommes allés, vous êtes allé, il ou elle sont allés. So here you'll see something different. At the end of all the plural forms, we are putting an S at the end. While there's no such thing with uh, je, tu, or il for the singular forms, there's no such ex uh, no such addition. And for for 
Monge also you can see there's nothing different for Ekrir also there's nothing different so the exception is only with Ethre verbs with verbs conjugated with Ethre in passe compose we add an S at the end of all the plural forms for for the at the end of the past participle and Monge is conjugated with avoir since it's not part of the Dr. Mrs. Mandeltramp verbs J'ai mangé, tu as mangé, il ou elle a mangé, elle a mangé, nous avons mangé, no such exception at the end, vous avez mangé, il ou elle ont mangé, ont mangé, and with écrire, again no exception, j'écris, tu as écrit, il ou elle a écrit, nous avons écrit. Now we'll see some examples of passé composé. J'ai pris un examen à l'école aujourd'hui. Since we are being very specific here, that I took an exam at school today, and it's not just that I took exams in school, it's very specific that I took an exam today. That's why we are using passé composé in this case. And we'll see even for the next examples, it's very specific is mentioned specifically that it happened at this time that we did this particular thing for example ils ont acheté une pizza pour le dîner so they bought a pizza for dinner it's mentioned uh, very specifically that for dinner particularly they had ordered a pizza it's not just that they ordered a pizza avant le déjeuner vous avez pratiqué le viola so very specific again you practiced the violin before lunch. Before lunch is mentioned, so it's spe it gets specific here. If it was um, you practiced violin, it's very uh, vague. It's not mentioned at what time or when. It can be that the whole year, last year, you were practicing violin or for two years you've been practicing violin or for the last month. So if it was just w uh, you practiced the violin, uh, then it would be imparfait. Vous pratiquez, vous pratiquez le viola. Negatio de passé composé. So how to form the negative of passé composé? It's a bit different than what we did for present tense or for imparfait because there are two parts in this case that is avoir plus past participle or être plus past participle so it's very easy to remember. We have to put ne and pa before and after the avoir or être conjugation. For example, je n'ai pas assisté au match. So we are putting ne before the avoir conjugation and pa after the avoir conjugation. And then assisté, which is the past participle, it comes later. For the next one, pourquoi tu n'as pas fait tes devoirs? Again, we are putting ne before the avoir conjugation and pa after the avoir conjugation. Even in case of être, it's the same thing. Ne and pa will come before and after the être conjugation. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. Please like and subscribe.